Hi guys, I'm Miss Corrigan, and today we are going to be making this awesome navel cap. It's also known as a Dixie cup cap, so let's get started. The materials you're going to need for this are as follows. White poster board, which you will probably be able to yield about two or three hats out of one poster board. As you can see, this is the full um, item that I've cut out. It's 25 inches in length and about five inches wide, so when you fold it over, uh, two and a half inches for the width. Um, so I, I will provide the stencil for you and you can determine how many hats you can yield. This is the part that goes around the head. The part that is the top of the hat is just simply printer paper. It's um, a little bit thinner and it's easier to work with and to manage. You will also need these cut out, these navy emblems cut out, and each student will get one of these to glue onto their hat for decoration, um, as well as you know, different stickers that the students can bring in. Uh, the color scheme for navy is blue and silver, so any stickers, any patriotic things that tie in with blue and silver and are navy associated, then those are awesome things to use and, and very appropriate for that. You'll also need glue to glue on your emblem. Uh, pencil to trace out the stencil. You'll want um, white duct tape just for concealability. Um, it doesn't show up. It's not unsightly and it's very strong. It handles it well. And you'll also need a stapler. Once you've cut out your stencil that you've traced and you've folded it over, it should be ready to go. You're going to, at this point, adjust it to the sides of your head. So the folded part, the two parts that come together, that's going to be the bottom. And you're going to wrap it around your head. Now keep in mind, with a Dixie Cup hat, it's wider at the top and narrower at the bottom. Okay, It's not a substantially big difference, but it is, it is definitely more narrow at the bottom. See, it's, it's wider up top than it is at the bottom here. So you want to consider that too when you're adjusting it to the sides of your head. And it usually sits on top of your head like that, usually on the side there. Okay, so you to make that adjustment. When you're ready, you can see that this and this corner needs to be bent down okay, to kind of match the site, the size, and everything. That's the back of my hat. And then you can reinforce it with the staples. Use your better judgment with how many staples you need for this part. You don't need a billion staples, but you want enough where um, it's, it's going to be sturdy and it's going to hold together. So I would suggest maybe three or four staples. Okay, so there's this one. Main part of the hat. You can adjust it and just double check. Now we're going to add the top part. This requires a little bit of finesse and some care, so you want to just take your time with it. This is where you're going to want to use the duct tape. So I'm going to take a couple of strips, have them ready to go. This should be fine. I think you can see. Which one? Long. We don't need really, really long ones. Just enough to keep each piece of paper together. And that's the beauty of the white duct tape, too, because you can use as much as you want and no one's the wiser. Just looks like white. So, what we're going to do is actually come in from the bottom. So, this is the bottom part of the hat. We're going to bring the paper up through the bottom. Just kind of gently pokes it through. Okay, see, it looks kind of weird right now, but we're going to be fixing that. So let's start with the taping process. And you definitely want to make sure that all of the paper is still inside the hat because if you push it out too far, look what happens. We have this big hole, this big gap. So, you want to keep all the paper inside. The best way to do that is to just keep it on your desk. Just take some time. 
things a little finesse. You want the paper to kind of bulge out from the top. You don't want it all hidden in, inside. You want it to bulge a little bit because that's how a typical um, Dixie cup cap is, is shaped. I have all this. Let's see. Let's see what the best way to do it is. And as I said, you, you do want to take your time with this part because if you brush it, you risk it looking kind of funky and, and it's not to your liking and you're not happy with it. So you just want to take your time and kind of it around. is okay to get a little wrinkly, the top part, because it's supposed to look like fabric, and fabric isn't always pristine. It, it wrinkles sometimes, so you want to kind of get that illusion of it being fabric. I actually used all my tape, so we're going to need some more. I love this cut tape. We actually want it to look like that, so it's good. It's good. Okay. Okay. Let's see, you can see on the inside it doesn't look spectacular, it just looks like kind of wrinkly paper and tape. That's okay. You're going to be wearing it, nobody's going to see the inside, they're just going to see the outside, so you just So this is basically um, ready for decoration. You see, I got my sailor cap now. Right. Now, what you would want to do is um, include the Navy emblem right here, and you can add star stickers. You can um, use glitter if you want. Just remember to include the emblem and to stick with the uh, blue and silver color screen. So there you have it. I hope you have an awesome time with it, and best of luck to you.